If you like the mix of an energetic city and a beautiful coastal scenery, Halifax is the perfect place for your next vacation. Found on Canada's Atlantic coast, this modern bustling port city has it all. For the person who enjoys the outdoors, Halifax also offers the beauty of sandy beaches, rocky shores, and amazing ocean waters. Because of its prime location, Halifax stands as the most populous city on Canada's east coast and the 11th largest city in Canada. Its 385,000 residents enjoy the combination of rural and urban living offered. With charming fishing villages, farming communities and Atlantic Canada's largest city all in one. Now let's join Jamie as he tries his luck with some urban smallmouth bass and chain pickerel. Woohoo! We got our first Nova Scotia smallmouth bass. My first maritime fish. Well worth it. This is uh, a Texas rig worm. Basic presentation for these fish. There's a bunch of reeds as you can see here and I just cast it right beside that and this fish came up and grabbed my offering. So, not a big fish, but it's the first fish and uh, let's aim for something a little bit bigger, but uh, hey, pound for pound. Smallmouth bass are the way to go. God, let's go get ourselves another one. Hey there, we're with Dave Doggett here from NovaScotiaFishing.com. Dave, can you tell us a little bit about the different fishing opportunities there are? Sure. here in uh, Nova Scotia, particularly in Halifax? Sure, well we've got, we're lucky we have a lot of lakes nearby. Um, we've got uh, the Shubenacadie Canal system that goes through, so various times of the year we've got uh, striped bass moving through, um, and a lot of the lakes have smallmouth, uh, unfortunately chain pickerel, but they're here. And uh, we do still have some landlocked salmon and some native speckled trout kicking around, so quite a few fishing opportunities. Um, and right now we just had a little bump in the rain, so there might be a few striped bass or smallmouth moving up in the mouth of the river here. You know, some, some of the lakes are right almost downtown as well, so we'll, we'll likely hit some of those later today. Yeah, so taking a tour to Halifax with Dave Dockett from NovaScotiaFishing.com. We're going to hopefully catch a mixed bag of fish for you today. Check out the ultralight rod. There's some bass and some, well, some smallmouth and some striped bass in here, so we thought we'd downsize tackle a little bit. With some smaller splashes. So we downsized our tackle, and lo and behold, we got a fish. These bass are great. If you're catching bass and they're smaller size, if you downsize your tackle, you can have a lot more fun with these fish. Great fun for people of all ages. Whoa. Look at that beautiful Nova Scotia smallmouth. Hit the classic map spinner. Well, there's so many lures on the market today, but sometimes a classic like a good old MEPS will do the trick. Just like that. Beautiful little bass, so. We'll get them in. Let's go catch ourselves another one. Oof, just like that. All right. Beautiful day in Nova Scotia. Overcast. A little rain's coming and going. The fishing keeps picking up, so let's go catch ourselves. Pickerel followed me up here. Yeah. It's like a foot long. Take them. We got one here. Do it up. There we go. Hey, it's a pickerel. Came to a different spot trying to catch some bass, and Al lucked into this. Wow, beautiful color. This is uh, the smallest member of the pike family. 
and probably the most uh, most beautiful. Look at the markings on that. Look like a tiger muskie. Look at that. These fish are really aggressive. They'll eat almost anything, right? The uh, Nova Scotia low. There we go. Look at that. Nice work. Something someone took a swipe out of them in the back there. Let's go catch ourselves another one. Yeah. All right. Away she goes. Great work, Al. We spent uh, the morning heading to a couple of bass lakes and uh, decided to mix it up. We took us down to a pickerel lake. It's amazing the different fisheries you can catch right here in shore. And you're speaking of those fish, there's one right here. <laughs> there we go. Hey! <laughs> Little chain pickerel. Al. Al's is a little bit bigger, but hey. Another one of Nova Scotia's little chain pickerel. They're small, but you know, those colors are great. There we go. Hey, a couple of fish, some bass, some chain pickerel. Let's see what else uh, Nova Scotia has to offer. And the, the fishing here is just really so accessible and, and all kinds of different fish to be, be caught. There's a lot of lakes that are stocked with various trout, uh, speckled trout, rainbow trout. Uh, you know, we caught some chain pickerel and uh, hey, one of North America's favorite sports fish. These smallmouth bass, look at that, another fish. That was great. Got another nice smallmouth. Right on. What a great way to spend a day here in Halifax. Oof. You know, even though it looks like we're in the middle of the wilderness, we're actually 15, 10 minutes from downtown Halifax. Halifax has got these lakes all over the place. These fish get very low fishing pressure and they're very accessible. We fished seven or eight lakes today. We've seen chain pickerel, we've seen smallmouth bass, and now we've seen trout. It's amazing, really, the, the, the shore fishing opportunities that are available here in Halifax. Stay tuned, Big City Fishing will be right back for some fantastic rainbow trout fishing.